Let's look at income tax calculations. It's say income, income tax. How is it calculated? Uh, you have to know the following. One, you need to know the age, or you have to have the age of the person. Why do we need the age? The age will determine which, which bracket does it belong to when it comes to rebates and threshold. That's number one. Number two, we need what we call the taxable income, not or not, not just income. The income has to be taxable. Then we shall use the tax tables. Tax. Tax tables. Tax table to calculate. This is this is what we call the tax table. This one here that you see, this table here, it's a tax table. It has brackets. Let's see, these are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. Uh, make sure the tax uh, taxable income is always annual. Supposed to be annual. And if you don't have the taxable income, we shall always say the money you got, gross income, gross income, minus, Minus pension. This you multiply by twelve. Then you get your annual taxable income. This is what you need when you're going to calculate uh when when you're calculating taxable income. All right. Uh these are the brackets. We call them brackets. All right. This is a tax table. Then these are rebates. Uh in other words, this is uh, a tax relief given to taxpayers. It's a tax relief given to taxpayers. Then we have what we call a threshold. Uh, this determines, this we use it to determine uh, whether one will pay or not. All right, that's what we use. These values here, for example, the person of uh, under 65 years of age, they have to earn this as their annual taxable income to start paying tax. They have to earn more than this. Should they earn this or below? They, that, that means they don't pay tax. You understand? Uh, rebates, rebates, we shall see how we calculate them, but we shall subtract, uh, rebates are subtracted from the tax payable uh, according to the age. If they uh, are primary, it's subtracted for everyone. Then if the person is uh, 65 years and above, we shall subtract two. Then if the person is uh, 75 years and above, we shall subtract the three of them. We shall subtract these values according to the year where you are. We shall subtract these values according to the year that you are looking at. All right, let's jump into an example straight away. All right, we have an example here that says calculate the monthly tax owned on a 40 year old taxable salary of 43,000 per month in 2022. Simply meaning 2022, we shall only look at 2020. Actually, even the table above is for 2022. So that's what we are going to look at. We ignore these other years. All right, now we come here and we ask ourselves the money, sorry, the age is 40 years of age. That means it qualifies for primary only. Then we come to the money he gets. This is already taxable income. We do not need to look for taxable income. So of how much? 43,000. This is per month. It's not yet annual. So the first thing you do is to get the money, 43,000, multiply it by 12. When you multiply by 12, when you multiply by 12, let's see here, uh, 43,000. Thousand times twelve equals it equals to forty three thousand. So it, it will equal to fifty one, sorry, five hundred sixteen thousand. 
So this is the money he gets throughout the year. So we come to threshold, okay? It's below 65 and look at what, what he's supposed to earn. So this is way above the threshold. That means the person is supposed to pay tax. Anyway, now having seen that he pays tax, we shall go and visit the table now. Which table does he belong to? Which table does he belong to? So now we say, remember the person and uh, the person earns 51,000, sorry, 516,000. Uh, so 516,000 is in between these brackets here. So it's for, it's in between these brackets. So what do we do? We shall come and take this other value that we see this here. This is what we are going to use. So we shall come and say, Ninety-seven thousand five hundred plus ninety-seven thousand five hundred. Sorry, it's uh, ninety-seven thousand. Two hundred twenty-two, twenty twenty-five, two hundred twenty-five plus plus it says uh, plus thirty-six or so thirty-six. I'll write it like this: that six percent of the taxable income above four hundred and ten thousand four hundred sixty. So how do we get that? So we shall get the income, the taxable annual income the person gets minus the value, which we are looking at as the you see that. Ninety-seven thousand two hundred. 25 plus 36 percent of the taxable income above 410 so where do we get the 410 when you look at our table nicely we are using this this um we are using this this is where we are this is, this, this is what we are looking at so that's how we manipulate it then uh when we do that on our calculator when you do this, on, uh, please you substitute, uh, substitute or put this in the calculator the way it is to avoid mistakes. Because some people here will add afterwards they will multiply, which will bring a wrong answer. So to avoid all those mistakes, put the number the way it is into the calculator. Please put the number the way it is into the calculator. Put the, the equation the way it is in a calculator to avoid problems. Avoid problems. So now we shall go there. Let's use our calculator there. Put it the way it is. Uh, we shall say 97,222, so 25 plus 36%. Open brackets. Open brackets, you put the taxable income that we saw the person and minus 410,046. All right, this is, how, this is how we do it. And you press equals. This is what you get. This is what you get. You get it as 135,219. So, Having done that, having done this, uh, we get your number there. Don't forget, uh, the cents you may leave them now. At the end, you remove them. Minus, now, this here we go. We subtract the, the rebate. Remember, the person is 40 years of age, so he only qualifies for one rebate. Let's go and check on the table. What rebate does he qualify for? 
e qualifies e qualifies for this remember we are looking at 2022 so it only qualifies for that much so we go back here and say minus the rebate but the rebate was the rebate we've just seen it as 13,000 13,500 so we shall come subtract 13,500 so we do that remember the values that we are dealing with 13,500 the value we are dealing with are uh, annual values so you end up having uh, 121,719 runs 40 cents. Divide this by 12. Why am I dividing by 12? Because they want me to calculate the monthly tax. Yet these values were all, the values we are dealing with before, they are all annual. So I divide by 12 to get the monthly tax. Indeed, I get my money as 10,143. 28 cents, which is approximately 10,143. This is the tax it pays per month. All right. They're asking us if a taxpayer is over 75 years of age, what is the total tax rebate amount that she will receive in 2022? Remember, I told you uh, we add everything up. Now, this is tax rebate. That's, this is what we are looking at, total tax rebate. So the 75 year add above, you qualify for the primary, you add on the secondary, and you add on the tertiary. Let's go and we check on the tax rebate. Tax rebate for these ones here, we have 13,635 plus 7,479 plus 2,493. That's all, we shall add it up. So we shall be saying the person will qualify for 13,635 plus 700, sorry, 7,479 plus 2,493. And the answer becomes, uh, let's add up and we see very fast. I can see this and the answer became, Twenty-three thousand six hundred and seven. They might ask you what are the effects or what's what's the impact of rebate to the tax. We shall say rebate reduces rebate. The rebate uh, reduces on tax to be. To be paid. Rebate. The rebate and the medical tax credits. We shall see these two. They reduce on your tax to be paid. All right, let's look at this and we call it a day. And is a 65, 70, 67 year old who works in her daughter's flower shop. She earns 8,700 on a, on a monthly basis. Will she? Pay tax, explain your answer. Number one, how are we going to tell this? We shall pick the number, the money the person earns, we multiply it by 12. So, multiply by 12, and we ended up having 104,400. 104,400. Now, this is the money. Now, we shall verse this with the threshold of the same person. Threshold of a 70 year old. So, now, if it's here now, if the person is 75 years and old, they have to earn 131,150. So, this person is way below. The person is way below. So we shall say no tax paid. 
the taxable income the taxable income is below a a what a threshold so the person does not pay tax because the her annual income her annual taxable income is below a threshold 